this is it. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. You and me still got a mopping date. Is that prison slang? Popularised, if that's the right word, by Mystery Science Theatre 3000, Teenage Strangler is a teen crime drama set in a corner of 1964 that is forever the mid-50s. But by Jupiter, you'll stay in your room this time. We open during a school play. Betty establishes the tension in between making out with her boyfriend, Jimmy. I am worried, Jimmy. I'm afraid of something. I don't know what it is. There have been two recent murders, so maybe that's it. They're interrupted by janitor, Mr. Wilson. Hello, Mr. Wilson. What are you doing here? It's so late. I wasn't watching. Who said I was? He quickly dispels the overwhelming air of predator. You stay put right here and I'll walk you home. That should do it. The girls sensibly run. Oh, Betty, I can't. I've got to rest. Let's make camp here and go on in the morning. But as Betty goes ahead... Look, I'm going. Come on. Not sure about the choice of music. <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson is on the case. Lieutenant Anderson to headquarters. Headquarters. Go ahead, Lieutenant. Headquarters is just off camera. After arguing with Betty's father about who's dropping the ball worse... That's your job as a cop. And what's your job as a parent? Let's agree we're both terrible. Betty remembers something. A bulldog, Lieutenant! I might have seen a bulldog! Or possibly a boxer. It all happened so fast! The bulldog emblem is worn on the jackets of a local gang, called, as you would expect... What do you call yourselves? Fastbacks. The number one group in the state. Only if the rating system is based on how old you are. I know we say it a lot, but there is not a single teenager in this movie. Just a lot of young adults hanging out at the coolest diner in town. You know when you meet someone coming the other way and you go one way, but so do they. You go the other way, but so do they. Here's an elegant solution. But all this juvenile frivolity can't last as the movie takes a turn that will have even the most hardened horror fan unable to watch. I proudly introduce you to Mary and Jack, the Huntington astronauts. I wouldn't be too proud. Yeah, I strive to see that ballet de fashion. Winning the Dark Corners Marlon Brando Award for the horror. The horror. Yeah, I strive to see Anderson arrives. Ah, he doesn't know the trick. Whose jacket is this? What jacket? Ooh, you rebellious kids. And that guy really bugged me. Dropping the bee bomb there. Anderson learns more about the fastbacks, who are apparently the best in the state. Best what? Drag, man. RuPaul's got nothing on us. If that was the twist, I'd enjoy this film more. Jimmy goes home to his shamed parents. Dad. I have no son. This is not Jimmy's first brush with the law. He I also stole a bike. I thought by moving to Huntington that I'd spare your mother and I the embarrassment of the neighbors knowing that our son was a thief. Forcing his family to, as far as I can tell, move, change their identity, and raise their other son in total isolation. Maybe we can do something. Mighty, get upstairs. But I've been there for 15 years. Elsewhere in town, Alfred Hitchcock reaches for the phone to call his lawyer. Mother? Mother? <laughs> then decides not to bother. The police suspect Jimmy, arriving under cover of darkness. Jimmy's upstairs, he's confined to his room. I mean, seriously. But Betty gives him an alibi. But he didn't do it, Lieutenant. He was with me. And he didn't steal no bike, neither. I did. I got the idea from an Italian movie. My, that's a sinny literate joke. Amazingly, Anderson is happy to take the word of Jimmy's girlfriend and kid brother. But his long minutes in Chokey have changed, Jimmy. And take this with you. I'm resigning from the Bulldogs. I mean fastbacks. What does our logo mean again? 
resulting in a terrible fight. Well, report you to the principal. The principal? I mean, we're delinquents, but we don't want any trouble. While the murders continue, we're supposed to give a damn about a beef between Jimmy and Curly, the leader of the Fastbacks, to be settled by a race. Started by Elon Musk. But... Jimmy! Jimmy, stop! I gotta talk to you! Jimmy! I brought the bike back! He's got a message for Jimmy. Mom says to call attendant Anderson right away. Jimmy does. I want you to get to the rest of the fastbacks and have them come to my office on the double. Never mind. We found one of your emblems and I want all of you in my office immediately. I'm sorry, you're rounding up the suspects for a murder by sending a message via the mom and brother of one of the suspects who is then supposed to round up the rest of the suspects and bring them in. It sort of feels like this could go wrong. You're going with us to Lieutenant Anderson. There we go. But Curly protests his innocence. Gosh, what have we done? There's evidence in his locker, so Betty hurries to find it with help from the janitor. I have a master key. Does that impress you? And I don't think it's a mighty surprise to find that... Mr. Wilson. This is... this is Jimmy's. Mr. Wilson used to be a teacher until an issue with a student. She said I tried to touch her. So they made him janitor instead, really safeguarding the kids there. And the police arrive. <laughs> Goodness, you boys had a good sense to call me. Let's stick to that version of the story. I have trouble taking this film seriously. If you think this is a comedy, you're crazy. Yeah, but if you think it's a drama, you're nuts. Curly, who has been a bully throughout, is now apparently a hero. This one's on the house. Thank you, buddy. Hey, gang, look who's giving credit. <laughs> just because he crashed while fleeing for no reason. What's the message here? Kids nowadays. Yeah, but janitors today. Thanks for watching. This was recommended by one of our Patreon shadows. If you'd like to pick a film for us to review, then please support us via Patreon or YouTube memberships. What are your favourite movie gang names? Let us know in the comments below. I've got to go home.